And really what The Last Ice, the film is about, is the sea ice. And the sea ice is the natural cycle. If you're looking at the top of the world, you see the white mass expand and shrink every year. And that's a cycle that's gone on for centuries and millennia. We're no higher than the polar bear. The polar bear is on top of the food chain. We're just equivalent. Now, with the advancement of technology in the last decade or so, comes good and bad news. Connecting people around the world is key, and dumping of electronics in the oceans, lakes, and almost everywhere you go has had some effects. How do we deal with that? Then what happens when all those chemicals come up to the Arctic is the marine uh, mammals ingest them, and then Inuit communities who hunt for subsistence, they, they ingest them as well. And there are high rates of toxicity in some of this wildlife. Um, there's There have been high rates of uh, toxic chemicals in mother's breast milk in a, among Inuit populations. Is it even possible to think that we can reverse the damage done? So one thing the film is highlighting is an area called the Pikiala Sorsuak. And as the sea ice melts toward this place, all of the wildlife is following it. Well, at the same time, uh, you have outside interests who are looking at this area that now has less ice th than before as, uh, you know, there's a lot of profit to be made. There are, uh, there's oil exploration and shipping routes and uh, industrial fishing. So one solution that the film is putting forward, which uh, is to support this Inuit-led um, uh, movement to protect the Pikiala Source Walk. And that is a, that's a movement that's, uh, Inuit both in Greenland and in Nunavut are putting forward together. And the onus is now on us as youth to revitalize that relationship that we have with our culture, language, traditions, and our environment. I looked at the uh, trailer for the pristine seas. <laughs> what is this project about? What do we need to learn from this? So Pristine Seas is really about finding some of the last wild places in the ocean. These are places that are still productive. They haven't necessarily been overfished or depleted. So the idea of Pristine Seas is to create marine protected areas. I want to take you back as a person behind the cameras. How was that for you? I think the thing that struck me first was the sense of community that I think has been fostered over generations. There's really a sense of all of your actions and your life are borrowed from your ancestors as well as your descendants. They need to make sure that any decisions being made in the Arctic today are going to ensure a better life for people 100 and 200 years from now. So there's likely to be mixed reactions, Scott, after people watch the premiere of The Last Ice. What are your expectations, thinking broadly, even across the African continent? We're really focusing on these two young Inuit, one in Greenland, Alakatsiak Piri, and one in Nunavut, Canada, and that's Matali Oklik. They're worried about their future. They want a better life for their families. I'm hoping that people can see the human side of this issue.